Hey, this is JD at RTX 2016. I am here with the man, Greg Miller. How are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Let's, there it is. There it is. It. It's official now. One of these. That's what you do. <laughs> Key of the city is right there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you've been really busy. Yeah. Um, you just got out of the panel. Yes. Um, and just last week you were at VidCon. Right. Week How? before that, I was at E3. Oh, shit. <laughs> week, week before that, I was recuperating from Kind of Funny Live 2. It's been a month. It's been a big month. How are things different with the Rooster Tag, uh, Rooster uh, Teeth Flag? With sure, you? doing uh, the Let's Play. Doing yeah. Let's Play Network. Um, I mean, the bigger difference, I think, is that we have a bigger team this way. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We want to talk about the difference. Day to day, there isn't much in terms of what we produce, how we make content, yeah. what are we doing. Your but brand hasn't changed at all. Exactly, you know what I mean? But having them be our partners means that our merch works better. There's you know more opportunity for us on the, the store. They're so good mm -hmm. at it. And they have such a great team running events, running merch, running all these different things that we can rely on them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tim's able to take some of the pressure off of him for, as being our like sales guy who worries about our, our deals or whatever now that we have a team that they're coming to us. You're not, you're not leaning so hard on the, the Patreons and, and stuff like that. That. Uh, we're still leaning pretty hard on the Patreon. <laughs> uh, Patreon has just been so good to us, and the okay. numbers are so big. But we get to lean less on it. Yes, we're, we yeah. get to bring up the number. You know what we're making off of a brand deal or an integration or an ad on the show. That's not bad. Yeah, no, it's definitely good. I mean, that's <laughs> always been the point. I told kids when we started the Patreon that my goal was that in a year it would be equal. And we're not mm. there yet. We're getting there. We're getting better every day. We're closer to that number. Mm. And I, 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 we'd have to talk to Tim and to see what the real thing is. That's going what three years already? Is it two? Oh years? no, no, no. We Year and a half. Well, I see what you're saying. Uh, kind of funny. As, kind of funny. Prime, Prime would be two years this fall. This uh, September. Yeah, this September would be two years. Okay. Um, you've come a long way from just that. I mean, oh I remember, sure, yeah, yeah. I remember the YouTube video where you were just like, "Here, we're kind of funny. This is our brand new stuff. Watch yeah. it, yeah. and and help us." And now and we're like, "Hey, we have a bunch of old stuff. <laughs> watch it. Help us. Watch watch everything on the channel." Right? Yes, please, God. So someone watch this. <laughs> <laughs> let's play live. What was your game of choice if you were gonna if they're gonna do another let's play live? Oh man, I want to do more murder. The Gary's mod. We, okay. we, we I didn't realize that when we went we went down to. RT and did a bunch of stuff when mm. we were getting ready to announce Let's Play Live and we played that. We all had such a great time. One of our best Let's Plays I feel from that trip. And then when they were like, hey, what do you guys want to do? They like, here are all the games. Who do you want to play what? And I saw Murder on there and didn't realize it was Gary's mod. And so I gave it to Tim and then Tim went out and I'm God, I want to play that. No, I'd rather play that game. I love that thing. That's so much fun trying to figure out who's who. Yeah, I haven't not got to play that. Yet. Oh, you got to play it. It's great. I want to know who's the bright idea to do the Let's Play promos with the Anchorman. Oh man, that was all Rooster Teeth. That I mean, was they all came, Rooster They Teeth? came to us one day and were like, "This is the idea." And we're like, "Okay, great." And then we got there and they were like, "Say whatever you want." <laughs> so my bright idea was to jump out of the truck and scream, "Who wants to see how we fuck guys in San Francisco?" <laughs> and I was happy they used it like in the Achievement Hunter, like, like most. Oh my god, they, they really did say that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they're like most popular one. All right. Before we begin, let's go over the rules. Rule number one, do not hurt anyone's hands. We need them to play video games. Of course. And that's it! That it was, I mean, the real brilliant idea, I feel, is the fact that everybody got a trailer and everybody's trailer was slightly different. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was fascinating to me because I thought it was going to be just the same thing when they pitched it. And then we mm. got there and then we did all the alternate takes. Like, oh, this is going to be really funny. <laughs> and getting back into the truck, I was like, oh my God, it's so hot. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We kept having to climb back in. And everybody's like, tr the truck eventually became like the sunshade too, where everybody <laughs> was like hiding around it. Like, we're all pressed up against it, trying to stay in the shade, watching what's happening. Now you got two uh, kind of funny lives in the back yeah, already. Yeah. Um, are you thinking about bringing that as a tour around the, the states? What we talk about a lot is we'd like to start tacking on live events to the places we go, not Kind of Funny Live. Kind of Funny mm. Live is such a production and so much goes into it and so much of it is knowing the space you're at. We don't think we could replicate that somewhere else all mm. the time. Yeah. But we do feel that, okay, we're going to New York for New York Comic Con, let's say. What if we also went and got a comedy club and then we're able to say, hey, if you're not coming to New York Comic Con, we'll come do, we're going to do the podcast. 
podcast. We're going to do a real show, not Cisco doing flips and us in a spandex show, but we're going to do a show here where you can come be with the best friends. Yeah, uh, kind of similar to like uh, Kevin Smith and Hollywood Babylon. Right, 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 right. Whatever city they're in, we're like, all right, cool, comedy club's packed. Exactly. And it's one of those we have not, I mean, you, this is a great example where we've been on the road now, you know what I mean, for three weeks and we haven't done that. It takes more planning than we're ready to put in right now. We're, we're working on one for the future that we'll talk about soon, but in general, yeah, it's something we want to do, but again, it comes back to us being five people and tr- five people who are trying to run this empire and move into a new studio and go to a show every, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, you guys are like this big and it's like, it's only five dudes. There is a, a new studio that's going to be set up. Can you tell us anything about that? Uh, it's going to be a game changer, for lack of a better word. I hate to use the <laughs> a word so played out, but... I, when, when we got, like, for, so, it works out that everybody's heads down at Kind of Funny Live 2, we're planning that, and Kevin is looking at our Craigslist and sees this place, he's like, we should go check it out, not to get, just to see, like, what's out there, what are we, when, because we want, what our original plan was, we were going to look for something after this convention run, Mm. that we would come back and then get serious about looking for studio space, and he saw this place, he's like, this seems like something we'd want, so we should go to it, we should check it out, we should understand what the market looks like, and so... Tim, Nick, and Kevin went that night, and the next morning they came back and like, we gotta get this place. This place is awesome. It's perfect. They already had a lease in hand. Exactly. Like, no, they pretty much did, and they was like, okay, and like, they got it. They talked us through how it's gonna work. You know, it's gonna Studio A, Studio B, the office space here, the kitchen here. We can use this room for streaming, this room for storage. You know, have a place all to ourselves. But it wasn't until like, I got there and walked in that I was got this, the tour. We're gonna do Colin Greg live here. This is where this will be great, great, great. And then we walked into like office space, and Kevin had gone through green tape and marked it out. And he's like, "This is gonna be your desk, and this will be Colin's desk. You'll face each other. That's gonna be Nick and Tim over there. They'll face each other." And then I was like, hey, "I'm like, where are you?" And he's like, "I'm gonna be back here editing." I'm like, "Great." And then I was like, "I was like, what are these two <laughs> rectangles on the other side of the room?" And he's like, "Oh, those are desks for future expansion." And that one was like, <laughs> "I'm like, That's right, what... shit. Other people are gonna work here one day. Like, we're gonna hire people." Yeah, you guys are just getting huge. Yeah, it's it... like, all right, we just bought this another space. Space. What more do we are we going to be tacking on yeah. into this empire that we built? Exactly, and then it was that. So I've been that's been in my head of like, oh, that's cool, and that's what the future is, and that's great, and I can't wait to move into it. And then last week, Nick finally showed me the the uh, rough sketches he has right now for what the, the sets are going to be, what the, the shows are going to be, and it's like, like I didn't expect that. That that looks like an E three live show every day. That looks, you know what I mean, like yeah. what we did at IGN. A real, set up stage right. and stuff. And, I mean that, and, that, and that was kind of the light, light bulb moment of like, it, it looks like a real set up stage and it's like, oh right, because this is a real <laughs> set up studio. This isn't our spare bedroom. This isn't having to worry about Pertillo puking in my hand in the middle of a podcast. This is like a real <laughs> thing we're doing here. It's like, wow, we gotta, that's crazy. I think I know, what I keep talking about is once we make the switch over and there's that first month of content, I think you're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna make the month before look like the Stone Age. It's, it's that it's, crazy. It's gonna be like the season one, and then all of a sudden season two, you got a huge budget. Right, right, and it's right. It's gonna right. be totally different. Yeah, I mean, even like now when I go look at a Game Over Reggae show in the first dozen episodes, it's always like, ooh, like the <laughs> lighting looks like cringy. that, and like Nick's doing the board, it's like, ugh, you know what I mean? Like anything you do, and to think about the stuff we're doing right now in a month, or whatever, a month and a half, two months is going to look like that, it's like, oh Jesus, God. <laughs> so I got a couple gaming questions. Sure. I like games. I don't know you did. Uh, 2016, what are your day one games that you are coming out with that? Like- From here on out, I'm I'm very interested in, I want to know what's up with No Man's Sky. Okay. No Man's Sky, I've played before, I enjoyed what I played, I feel like the internet's expectations have run wild. So it what it has huge like? expectations, yeah. I agree. I've watched a little bit of ep- uh, gameplay of it. it I haven't seen much action. Yeah, like it's all exactly. it's like exploration. It looks like a virtual Nat Geo. Yeah, exactly. Let's go there. Let's scan this creature. Let's upload it. Let's fly <laughs> to the next planet. It seems like it's gonna be something that's relaxing. That I, I, I like okay. that idea. I, I, I like jumping. I didn't look at it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it's gonna be that perfect game for. Oh man, it's 30 minutes before I want to go to bed. I'll pop in. And I'll go look at a couple planets. Like I'm not I'll worried about fishing. progression. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do that. Um, from then, I'm you know I'm a huge Lego Dimensions fan. Mm-hmm. All the Year Two stuff looks great. I want that Ghostbuster story pack. I want to get all my hands on all the new characters, all the new things. Now that they're happening. dominating the toy gaming world. Now. Yeah, yeah, Disney right, right, right. Out just yeah, uh, not yeah, that yeah. long ago. Yeah. So for the year, there's that. I have you know the morbid curiosity about Last Guardian. What, okay. what is that going to end up being? Uh, Gal Gun is totally perverted and weird, so I want to play that on my Vita. I want to be that guy in the plane. Why not? <laughs> you just uh, sitting there, hey, did you see that? Yeah, you know, they'll, they'll definitely <laughs> see what's happening with Gal Gun, I'm sure. Uh, and then, yeah, you know, 
Uh, Gears is going to be a big one. We all, Colin and I love Gears. We want to play that together. Uh, but I'm honestly a little bit more excited for 2017, I feel like. Yeah. Where it's like, I can't wait for Ghost Recon Wildlands. I can't wait for Detroit. I can't wait for God of War. Detroit's my game that, that I'm looking at. Yeah. Um, I don't, is God of, God of War still 2017? They're, I mean, even Detroit, it's, they're fishy on these dates. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I think God of War is. Detroit might be the only one I think that gets pushed out of there. Horizon looks great. Mm -hmm. All these different things. Uh, State of the Gate 2, again, they haven't confirmed 2017, but you hope it is. It, and yeah. It's a promise. Right, right. Ooh, and then for 2016, Dead Rising. I forgot. Dead Rising 4. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. That one slipped my mind also. Yeah. Uh, so what's your way in on PSVR <laughs> against the Vive and, and Oculus? Sure. I mean, I think that all are cool. VR is cool. When you put on VR and it works, it's really rad. Uh, PlayStation VR is more for me, for sure, because I'm a console guy. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to invest as much as I would need to for a Vive or for an Oculus and then the PC to run it. So all that said, you're definitely getting the lesser visual experience, right? I've used PlayStation VR the most, I think, out of, and I, we have a Vive at home, and there's definitely a difference in screen in mm. terms of you know quality of the picture you're getting. But I don't know if it matters right now because I'm not seeing a game that I'm like, I need yeah, the highest quality, right? It's, it's I'm job, job simulator. simulator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the Batman experience at E3 blew my mind. That yeah. was awesome. I, I have not seen, I don't think anyone has seen any kind of gameplay on that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I got to use it. It was dope. I liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, kind of Funny Doodles. Right. Yeah. Kind of Funny Doodles episode one is up right now. And it's one of those, for us, one of the first. Because you look around Rooster Teeth, right? And mm -hmm. all these fans work there and all these different things happen. They started, you know, joining the group. For us, it's like our, for one of our first victories in that sense where uh, there's this kid named Zach. And Zach, you know, wanted to do some animation. So he started doing this thing called Kind of Funny Doodles on his channel. And he asked if it was, it was cool. And he took audio from the podcast and then animated it in a very simple fashion. And if you go and look at them, they, like, they were making leaps and bounds as he figured out editing. And finally, we got to the point where we could talk to him and, like, do you want to be a contractor for us? And, like, he was like, I'm, because it used to be he was putting one up, I think, every Monday, every Thursday. It was one, once a week, he was putting up an episode on his channel. And so he kept promoting a new episode every week, new episode every week. And finally, Tim was like, hey, we want to use you as a contractor, so stop doing that, but keep making them. And so he just went, he went radio silent dark and kept making the episodes, so we had a, a, a backlog of them. Mm -hmm. And so then at Kind of Funny Live 2, we announced that we're bringing him on. Kind of Funny Doodles is an official show now. And then just today, this Friday, we launched the first episode, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was looking at it, I was like, oh my god, they've they've got their own, well, you got multiple cartoon channels already going. Right, yeah, yeah. Kind of Funny the Animated Series is going, and that's original programming where we play characters that are in high school. <laughs> and then this one is just, yeah, him taking funny parts of the podcast and putting them to animation. So yeah, we're going to wrap it up from here. I'm pretty sure the internet knows where to find you. I hope so. <laughs> if you're already watching this episode, you already know this guy. But uh, let's give him the details, the whole rigmarole, Easiest as way you would say. Is to go, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate using my words. Uh, easiest way is to go to Kind of Funny. Com. You can get there. We have two YouTube channels, one about gaming, one about whatever the hell that one is about, and uh, <laughs> a bunch of Patreons and podcasts and all sorts of stuff to find there. Yeah, that other one has a kind of an identity crisis. It's like everything's going up on that. Yeah, one. so it's everything that's not gaming, right? So <laughs> it can be an animated show. It can be a topic about gun control. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to subscribe to that? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's, that's RTX 2016. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, man. It's always a pleasure. Oh.